yeah just about there there we go live all right let's gonna put a full screen get started here thanks so much for joining me guys whoever's out there kind of a random early morning core flow i feel like i had lots of energy today so pretty stoked to get back on the mat and share with you guys so we're coming back every day that i have time it's usually 11 15 p.m or a.m melbourne time and then it's 6 15 back in fernie so usually that class is on every single day sometimes i add another one in um today yeah feeling good so i'm going to do this one first so let's come up onto our knees so you can take the top of the feet onto the floor just lay the hips back towards your heels if you feel like you need some more support here you can also go ahead and take a block between your ankles so whatever feels good to find that kind of supported long spine. I feel the palms open now. Well, those first few moments here, just allowing your awareness to completely start to settle into the body. A lot of people actually love practicing in the morning just because there's more energy available to us. It's kind of easier to drop inside and let the mind go because not so much has happened over the entire day. So that's one of the reasons why I love to teach and practice early in the morning. So you can kind of let any thought patterns or feelings you're holding on to, it's a bit easier to start to let them go. So keeping the eyes closed, roll the shoulders back, start to create a bit more space up through the heart. So up through the chest and through the collarbone. And it's keeping your breath natural and smooth. And just allowing it to slowly start to anchor your mind inside. And really gradual, just noticing the fluctuations in your mind. Try to change from that mental awareness and shift into the body. So shifting from the head into the body, Feel your awareness filter through your shoulders. All the way down through your chest, through the rib cage. And then relaxing your belly. So start to bring some awareness towards your core area. So it's obviously a very strong physical power center. It's also a powerful energy center as well. So focusing in with the navel, take a full inhale, fill the entire body. As you exhale, draw the belly in towards your spine. So focus there. And just keep that steady breath. Exhale, belly draws in. It's called Uddiyana Bandha. That's that. And deeper core muscles start to engage. That's where the yogis believe all your confidence and power transformation lies. Right there in the navel center. So starting to really tune in. Send the breath there. And we start to unlock some prana for the rest of the day. And we start to lengthen the breath now. So keep the inhales through the nose. Belly, rib cage, heart expands. And the exhale, root down towards the floor. Feel the shoulders relax. Next in breath. So open the eyes, come forward onto all fours. We'll spin the fingertips up towards the sides of the room. So heels and hands face each other. Let's go through our wrist sequence now. It's just side to side motion. Move left to right. So really gently at first, of course, it's the morning. It's kind of easing into practice. So let the weight draw side to side. And perhaps some half circles back. So just see what the body needs, half circle it up. Start to really wake up with the breath. And as you move, grip your fingertips down on the floor. So feel your fingertips actively pressing. Feel the weight shift through all 10 fingers as you move. Let's go through four more complete breaths in. Steady breaths out. If you're just joining us on Instagram, we're also streaming through YouTube now as well. So you can find that link in the bio. Now let's go through three more complete motions. So 
Uh, drawing back up through center, spin the back of the hands on the floor, fingertips towards your knees now, so still warming up really softly. If this is sensitive for you, just go ahead and bend the elbows slightly, so soften up. Stage two, inhale, lengthen your arms, lift the gaze forward, wrap your triceps in. And you exhale, elbows forward, slowly draw the heart down towards the floor. So it's gently with control, inhale, lifting back up. Exhale, work into the back of the wrist. Four more, really slow and controlled. So I love doing wrist warm-ups every single practice because over time, it just builds that amazing mobility and strength and resistance that you need to kind of work on arm balances and handstands. You want to be able to practice every single day of moving into the, those more advanced shapes. Then you really want to start working into the wrist every single day. Two more. I know I said four, you probably did like seven, but that's okay. <laughs> And eventually releasing, interlace the fingers, any motion that feels good. Again, just work it out, any tension you feel. Kind of allow that to release. Any motion that feels good, draw on that new space, draw on that new awareness. Let's come up onto our knees, up onto our toes, interlace the fingers. Take an inhale breath. You just push the palms up towards the ceiling. So just broaden out through the chest. Squeeze the biceps up towards your ears. So really strong activation. Push up the palms. And we come into a mini back bend here. So take an inhale, lift up through the heart. Squeeze your biceps in. Fill the entire body with breath. Feel that new inhale. Kind of recharge the body. And as you exhale, belly draws in. Use some core strength. One more time, inhale. And you exhale, push the palms forward, hips back to heel. Just hold it out here for two. Lean back into your feet. Inhale, back up, reach your arms up. Full press up towards the ceiling. And you exhale, push forward. Let's go through three more. Inhale, recharge. Shoulders behind your ears. And you exhale, forward. Two more. Warm up the shoulders. Warm up through the core. One more time. And you exhale forward. Just come up onto the knees, untuck your toes. So come to the top of the feet, still warming up the upper body. Reach your right arm out 45 degrees. Left hand to your lower back. And left ear, left shoulder. So just drop the ear over, forward and back motion. So I'm going to mirror you guys the whole practice. Just so you know, you're not confused by which side I'm doing. So your right arm is extended out. Move the chin forward and back. Just really work in and breathe through the traps, through the shoulders, all the way down the triceps through your fingertips. And then back up through center, switch sides, left arm extends out. Press your fingertips together, right ear, right shoulder, broaden out. Take a long inhale. And you exhale, moving the chin forward and back. So we're going to slower the better here. Really just sense out where the body's holding on. And stand so where you have some space. Always try to really expand that space with your breath. And drawing back forward. Let's release it out. And interlace the fingers one more time. Exhale, breath, push forward. Just round out the upper spine. Don't move the lower body just yet. Inhale, hands to your heart now. Let's go through one more breathing exercise. So hands to the heart this time. As you exhale, push forward, hips back to heel. Inhale, recharge back up. Exhale, round out. Let's go for three. And let's go for two, gather a new energy. Let's go one more time. Inhale, recharge. Exhale, push that work into your feet. Hold it out for two. And one, back through center. Palms to the floor, untuck your toes, tap out your feet, wake up your ankles, wake up to the legs. All right, let's work some alignment first. So bring the shoulders over your wrists. So start to lean into the wrists actually. So start to pour the weight forward into your fingers. Feel your fingertips grip into the floor. So as you move forward, work into the wrists. Let me draw back. 
So now bring the shoulders just midline over top of the wrist. Just stack it over top of your wrist joint. Push into the mat. Let the back of the heart lift. So feel that activation. Push out through your arms. Wrap the triceps in. And just hold here for a moment. Keep the shoulders protracted. And this is probably the most fundamental motion you want to build for handstands and inversions is that pushing action. And it's not like you're pushing as hard as you can. That's one of the most common mistakes that I actually see um, in yoga class when it comes to planks and strength stuff is people push as hard as they can and they're not activating as many muscles as they could. So we want to use more muscles and less actual pushing and gassing your arms out. So we're trying to be efficient with the body at all times. Wrists over. Shoulders over wrists. You can't put your wrists over your shoulders. I guess you could. Take an inhale breath. Sweep the right arm up. Just peel up for a moment. Twist it up. I guess right now I'm going to mirror you guys. So right arm up. Lift the heart. Squeeze the fingertips together. And lay it back down. Second side. Left arm. Peel open. Keep that activity through your right arm. Shoulder over wrist, really start to activate all the muscles through your forearm, up through the shoulder. And you exhale, release and lower. Good. Lean back onto the heels one more time. Let's work out the wrist. So we're really trying to open and warm them up. Let's go with three steady breaths here. So we are going to work into some inversions today. So we're going to do one of my favorite drills. Learn this from Daniel Rama. It's a really good one. He used to make fun of me because I didn't like doing it in class. But over time, I really learned to enjoy it. It's come up onto our knees. It's a really great strength builder for your forearms and through your fingers. So reach your arms up towards the ceiling, expand out through the fingertips, lift the gaze up, wrap the triceps forward. So creating a hollow body shape with the body, with the body, of course with the body. Push out through the shoulders. So this is like handstand position here. Take an inhale, really extend out through your fingertips. Exhale, make fist, thumbs on the outside. Inhale, expand, release. Exhale, make fist. Let's go for three, expand. Clench in. Let's go for two, expand out. Clench in. Last one, expand out. And then make fist. Let's go as fast as you can. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, release it out. Let the blood flow through your fingertips. Just side to side motion. Now we're going to take a hold of your strap, or you can also just use a towel or a t shirt. Let's mobilize the shoulders now. So coming up to standing, let's take the hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. So push out, grip your hands into the strap. Let's take an inhale breath. Reach out toward the ceiling. Let's just take a moment here to get a strap or t shirt. If that's what you want to use and draw the arms back. So open up to the chest and shoulders, slow motion, tap the straps to the glutes, and we draw back. So it doesn't matter if you can go for the full rotation or not. Just create that forward and back motion. Stay linked up with your breath. And one more time with that steady motion forward. And now as you draw back, feel free to pause anywhere. So draw open. If this is really hard for you, go ahead and take your hands a bit wider. So again, pausing anywhere that you want, anywhere that feels sticky, just open there, breathe. So super slow, drawing back. Just really mobilize the shoulders with your breath. So it's mostly about that full inhale and exhale. It's not so much about pushing more. That's not going to make your body really draw on that true flexibility. It's a steady breath and calm mind. Let's do one more time, extra slow motion, lifting up. We exhale, open the shoulders, broaden out through the chest. And whenever you feel like it, of course, pausing, breathe. Really worth it. Take some time to mobilize the shoulders every day as well. So let's bring the strap to the side. Let's release it up. Let's come into mountain pose, palms down by your side. Step your feet together or you can step your feet slightly apart. Your choice really, palms open up, roll the shoulders open. Let's close your eyes. And really slowly building that inner awareness. So let your weight center down through your feet. As you shift your weight forward and back and side to side, just noticing where that midline is. So where is that center point in the body? Where do you feel the most stacked in space? 
And from that center point, start to engage your legs more, squeeze the glutes in, roll the shoulders open, broaden up with the breath, so full inhale. Any exhales, belly draws in, activate your core. When you inhale, breath, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and full breath in. Any exhales, fold forward, let's go all the way down towards the floor. Hands just on the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And you exhale, bow forward, fingertips onto the mat. Just pause here for a moment. So root the fingertips down to the floor. And then start to lean your weight forward into the fingertips. And rock back to the heels. So really gentle motion forward and back. Breathe open through the back body. So it's really worth it here. Take some time and breathe. We can actually activate a lot more strength in our body if we've drawn some mobility first. So if we open up first and the better shape that we have, the less strength we need to hold these more advanced postures. And let's draw back forward, take an inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, bow forward, palms on the floor, step back, plank pose. So in this variation, step your feet together, shoulders over wrist, pause here, squeeze your glutes in, squeeze your inner thighs together. Even to start to squeeze your hands together, feel the chest activate. Again, efficiency with your muscles. Activate more muscles and use less strength. Draw in the belly in. We exhale, breath, knees, chest, chin, all the way down towards the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Squeeze the elbows towards your body, peel the heart up. Exhale, lower down towards the floor. One more time, baby cobra, inhale. Peel up through center, lift the gaze up. And you exhale, lower down. Take a full in breath. And you exhale, wide knees, child's pose. So still warming up, push into the mat. So take the knees wide. And let's find a place for the forehead to rest. So you can place your forehead on the floor or just stacking your hands one on top of the other. Whatever feels good for you. Just let any busy thoughts still circulating in your mind. Really just start to send it down through the floor and all the way towards the ear. Child's pose. When you inhale, breath, strengthen your legs, move forwards, come on to all fours. And shoulders over wrists. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog when you're ready. So let's move through the first one of practice. Head low through the feet. We cycle through the hip. Really keep that steady foundation through your palms. Expanding and pushing out through the back of the heart. So start to roll the shoulders away from the ears. So that's the triceps wrapping towards your body. Feel the shoulders open. And once the shoulders are externally rotating, start to push out more from your side body. So feel the rib cage activate and push. Send that strength all the way through your core. And you exhale, breathing down the back of the legs. And take an out breath, soften the knees, look forward. When you're ready, easy step or float, come top of the mat forward. Inhale, halfway lift and pause. Bring your hands to your shins. So long neck, long spine. Gaze towards the floor. So keep that really long line of energy from the crown of your head all the way down your spine. And then start to push your shins into your hands. So feel that really activate your legs. Squeeze inner thighs together. So feel everything really start to activate. You can even build strength just from this position right here. Broaden through the collarbones. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward, draw the belly in. Inhale, pushing through your feet, come all the way up. Reach the arms up, full breath towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands through center, mountain pose. Let's pick up the pace now. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, go down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward, palms to the floor, step or flow back, chaturanga when you're ready. Inhale up and through, upper facing dog. Exhale, draw back all the way. Downward facing dog, pedal up through the feet. Then step the feet hip width apart. So feet hip width, your hands should be about shoulder width. Take an inhale, come up on your toes, lift the heels up. Exhale, push the heels back. Inhale, up on your toes, lift up. Exhale, push the heels back. Inhale, tuck on your toes, tuck the chin, slowly roll forward into a plank. So we're going to keep that back body activation, move forward. 
Exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips up, pounce pose, look forward, inhale. Exhale, land in the posture. Inhale, lengthen your legs, lift the hips up. Exhale, heels down towards the mat. Again, faster, inhale, up in your toes, slowly roll forward, plank. Bend the knees, look forward, pounce pose. Lengthen the legs, lift the hips. Exhale, heels back. And again, inhale, tuck the chin, slow motion, roll forward really strong. Exhale, bend the knees, hips up and back. Pounce pose, lengthen the legs. And we draw back down, downward facing dog. Pedal up the feet, feet hip width apart. Inhale, lift up on your toes, lift the heels up. Exhale, heels drop over towards the right. So feel your left foot root down, soften the right knee in. Side stretch or side plank variation. Push to your right hand, left leg, sorry, right leg extends out. Peel the left arm up. Let's hold here for four. Squeeze your fingers together, hold for three. Flex your right foot, go for two. And one, hand to the floor, plank pose. Optional chaturanga or shift back, downward facing dog. Your pit, draw back, all the way back. Pedal out the feet. Inhale, up on your toes, lift up. Exhale, heels towards the left now. So feel your right foot root down, left knee softens in. Inside stretch or, right arm peels open. Lift your left knee towards your chest. Push up, use your breath. Stage two, extend your left leg out, hold for three. Push and lift for two. And one, step back, plank pose. Again, optional, shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, squeeze up and through. And the exhale, lower, all the way. Downward facing dog. Head low, three steady breaths. And the out breath, soften the knees, look forward. When you're ready, step or float in top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And the exhale, bow forward. Inhale, push your feet, come all the way up. Reach your arms up. Exhale, hands through center, find that midline. Let's come back into mountain pose. Palms open up. You can really find that center point through your feet. You can find the strength in your legs. Already getting warm in here now. Early morning in Australia. Still kind of dark outside. Feet together. So press your palms in midline. So feel the strength in your arms. Push your palms together. Take an inhale. Bend the knees. Sweep the hands towards the floor. Almost touch the floor with your fingertips. Lift the arms out. Lift the gaze. So wrap the triceps forward. Fix the gaze on one point. And really start to squeeze that midline. Find your center point And activate your strength from there. I keep using the core to support and lift the heart. Shine the heart toward the ceiling, full inhale. And the exhale, fist to your hips, sweep back. Drop the heart forward, airplane the arms. Inhale, reload, come back up. Exhale, sweep out. Three more, inhale. And exhale, back. Let's go for two. And back. The last one, inhale, sweep up. And the exhale, lengthen your legs, fingers just to the mat, forward fold. Take your feet hip width apart. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, bow forward. Take a hold of opposite elbows. Just take a hold of your elbows, chin to chest. And moving side to side. It's really working open the back body. And just release your hands to the floor. Step your feet together now. Inhale, halfway lift. You see how that changes things? Push to your heels. Exhale, draw forward. Palms on the floor. Step back, plank pose. Then draw into your strength. Tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes. Hold for four. Push in the mat for three. And one, lower to the elbows now. Dolphin pose. Push back. Keep the hands shoulder width apart. Push back to dolphin. Walk the feet in. Soften your knees. So really push through your elbows. Start to draw your heart back towards your thighs. So you want to keep that focus here on your elbows, pushing into the floor. Again, using efficiency with your muscles. Try to activate more volume. Push back. And 
Let's try one motion, look forward, shift your weight forward, lift the elbows off the floor, plank pose, optional chaturanga or downward facing dog. Exhale, draw back. Just look forward, right foot steps forward, left foot 45 is warrior one, right side. It's a pretty wide stance. Just make sure your right heel is in line with the arch of your back foot. Just to create that nice long line of energy. Heels draw together, inhale. Reach your arms up, lift the gaze up. So left hip tracks forward. If that's a lot for your back knee though, you can also just come up onto your toes. So for a lot of people who have knee problems, this action with the foot planted down is actually a bit too hard for the knee joint. So feel free, come up on the toes if you want. Lift the arms, lift the gaze up. So keeping the hands separated, start to squeeze that space between your arms. Find midline, wrap the triceps in. Your next out breath, warrior two is lengthen out, back foot reach down. Stabilize here. Let your right knee track open. Left hip is also tracking open. Squeeze the heels together. Good. Inhale, breath. And the exhale, dip forward, eagle arms. So right arm under left. Bring your palms to the back of the hands together. Squeeze your arms in. Let's take your elbows in line with the shoulders. Open up your back foot, Standasana variation. Bend into your left knee. Let the arms expand forward. Squeeze the elbows in. Right toes lift up. Send the breath through your back body. Just feel the core support and lift the heart forward. And inhale, draw back into your right foot. In warrior two, lengthen out. Exalted warrior, inhale, right arm reaches up. Just lift it up and back, expand out through the rib cage. Exhale all the way down towards the mat. Spring your front foot, push step back, plank. We lift your right leg up, shut around the three legged dog forward. Inhale, peel back up, lift. And exhale, draw back, downward facing. So again, let the shoulders open, align yourself here. Left foot forward, right foot 45. Root to rise up, so feel that rooting action. Lift the body. Fingertips up towards the ceiling. And feel that right foot really press down to the mat. And I'll breath widen out, warrior two. Let that right foot open up, push out through your fingertips. Align your heels, squeeze that center point. Let the shoulders soften. And our next out breath, dip forward, left arm under right. Squeeze that midline. Lift the elbows up, shoulder level. Then send your breath between your shoulder blades. Send it all the way down through your hips. Next stage from here, bend into your back knee, skandhasana variation. Right knee bends, left foot up. Try to keep your right heel on the floor. It's okay if it lifts, though, that's fine. Try to keep it on the floor, though. Lift the elbows up. Draw into your strength, through your legs. And through the arms. And inhale, power back up through center warrior two. Lengthen out. Left palm opens up. Inhale, breath. Just reach it back. Exhale, all the way down towards the mat. Frame push, step back, three-legged dog. Shot around the fourth, three-leg. Inhale, peel the heart up and through. Pause here, upward facing dog. So palms on the floor, just pause here for a moment. Let the shoulders open. So use the core to support and lift the heart. Next stage from here, push them to the top of the feet. Lift the knees off the floor. Now we're rewind, shut around the bend the elbows in. Lower, inhale, push down, high plank. One more time, quicker, lower chaturanga. Inhale up and through. Exhale, rewind, chaturanga, lower the heart. Push up, high plank. And you draw all the way back. Whew. It only takes five minutes to warm up here when you actually hold the poses with strength and activation. Let's take two more breaths. And you exhale, bend the knees, look forward. When you're ready, step or float, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, bow forward, push your feet, come up, all the way, reach your arms up, and you exhale, hands through center. Let's go through a standing series now. So hands onto your hips, and go ahead and step your right foot back, turn on your toes, right foot opens up towards the back of the room, 
Triangle pose, inhale, lengthen the arms, gaze forward. Exhale, into that right hip, so slowly draw forward. Right hand to your shin, left arm up towards the ceiling. When you start to stabilize now, so make sure your heart stays lifted and you're not dropping forward like this and sacrificing your breath. More importantly is that long spine. And so your body is able to collect that full inhale. And the exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, breath, lower the gaze to the floor. Inhale, push up to your right foot all the way up. Reach both arms up now. So gather in some energy. Power triangle, forward. Reach your fingertips over that right foot. Push up to your fingers. Roll your top shoulder up and hold for five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Lower the gates. Press back up all the way. Inhale, breath. Exhale, warrior two. Land it. Inhale, exalted warrior. Right arm over the Reach back, exhale into your front foot, half moon, step forward. So don't think about it too much, just step forward, lift your left leg up. So stage one is just lifting your leg. Stage two, stack your left hip open. Maybe left arm reaches up toward the ceiling. So we're really working to power through your right leg. You stack the shoulders, spinal, challenge here. Start to lift the gaze up towards the ceiling, so slow motion. Hold for two, focus, and stepping back, left foot back, right foot turns in, switch sides, left foot opens up, triangle pose, lengthen the arms, exhale into that left hip, so draw forward, just visualize lots of space as you move forward, right arm up, so you're drawing into that full space of the left hip, let the heart and rib cage peel open. We're going to really keep that activation through your base so heels are squeezing it. Let that power turn the heart towards the ceiling. And no breath, lower the gates. Push your left foot, come all the way up. Reach both arms up. And you exhale, side body strength. Move forward, power triangle. Reach the fingertips forward. Roll your top shoulder up and hold for five. And four, squeeze that space. Go for three. And two. And one, lower the gates. Inhale, push back up all the way. And we relax down, warrior two. Well, not really relaxing, but compared to those ones, it's pretty relaxing. Back foot roots down. Exalted warrior, inhale. Left palm opens up. Exhale into your left foot now. So step four, half moon. So just lift the right leg first. Especially for beginner to yoga, just lift your right leg first, then start to stack the hips, turn the heart open, right arm peels up towards the ceiling, lift the gaze up. So really strong for your base. The left leg is active. Also keep the right leg lifting and stacking. Maybe turn the gaze up towards the ceiling. You can do it if you fall out. Just come right back in, jump right back into the pose. That's what yoga is all about. Just learn, come back. We'll step the right foot back. Big wide stance, turn the toes in. Let's give the legs a break here for a moment. Just lengthen out. We'll step back top of the mat, take some water if you need to. Take a mini break in mountain pose. So whatever feels right for you, just reset. If you just join the video, you can definitely just start right here. Come standing, find the center point. Hands on the hips. We'll step the right foot back, so big step back. Left toes turn in. Right toes open up towards the back of the room. Bend into your right knee now. So again, warrior two, lengthen the arms. This time, use the inhale, extend out through your bones. As you exhale forward, sign pose. So shift forward, forearm to your thigh. Left arm up towards the ceiling. We'll stack the shoulders, lift the gaze up. Keep that left foot rooting down. Stage two from here, left arm forward, palm towards the floor. So you can take your right hand to the inside or outside of that right foot. Turn the heart open, inhale, expand out through the rib cage. Next stage from here, come into a bind if you want. So roll the right shoulder to the inside of your body, bend the elbow, 
Detaching your fingertips, left shoulder presses open, lift the gaze up. So again, keep that long spine, keep your legs active, peel the heart towards the ceiling. Any yell breath, lower the gaze to the floor, come more to that bind. Tense your fingertips back, step back, plank pose. Let's lower to the elbows, forearm plank. Let's push back, dolphin pose. Keep the feet wide, so keep that same stance. Inhale, roll forward, forearm plank. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, forward, let's go for 10, shift back. And nine, four, and back. Let's go for eight, and back. Keep squeezing the elbows together. Seven, and back. Let's go for six. And back, use the up breath, draw all the way back. Let's go for four, in for three, in for two. And so let's mobilize to the shoulders and to the triceps. Send the weight back towards your heels. Inhale, draw forward, come on to all fours. Tuck your toes, hips up and back. Downward facing dog, pedal up through the feet. Now we'll go through some Shakti jumps. See, this is one of my favorite strength builders, especially for handstands. Palms are down, push out through your spine, push out through the rib cage, walk the feet in, make toes touch behind you. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bend the knees like a spring, look forward. Bottom of your exhale, flip up. Hips over shoulders, go for 10, and nine. Let's go for eight, seven, and six. And five, maybe to float time. Let's go for four, three, draw the knees in, two, and one. Jump your feet forward. Halfway lift, inhale. In the exhale, bow forward, draw the belly in. Inhale, push through your feet, lift up. Exhale, hands through center. And calm your mind. Just feel the new energy in your body. Bring your hands on the hips, left foot steps back, big step back, right foot in, left foot opens up, warrior two, left side. So keep that really wide stance. Inhale, lengthen the arms. And stabilize with the breath first. And then side angle pose, shift four, form to your thigh, right arm up, peel the gaze up. Good. Keep turning the heart. And the rib cage, turn it up towards the ceiling. Stage two, left hand to the floor, right fingertips forward. So create that nice long line of energy from your right fingertips all the way through your back foot. Next stage from here, come into a bind, big circle with your right arm. Roll the left shoulder in, get forward, find that fingertips, or connect with the wrist. Turn the right shoulder open, lift the gaze up. In three full steady breaths, energize and control. And our breath lowers the gaze to the floor. Let's frame the front foot, push that back plank. Let's lower to the elbows, forearm plank. This time, shift the weight back. We'll start to come back. We'll walk the feet in. Shorten off your stance. We're doing voice crack there, it's hilarious. Shorten off your stance. Inhale, right leg lifts up towards the ceiling. Let's hold here for five, four, keep the breath steady. Let's go for three, in for two, and one lower. Left side, push and lift. Lift that left leg up, hold for five, four, draw the heart back for three. Let's go for two, and one lower to the floor. So I recommend puppy pose now. So fingertips on the floor on the front of you. Lengthen up through the arms. Keep the hips stacking over your knees. Let's draw down to the floor and walk the arms forward. So bring the forehead down towards the mat. Let's find that long, steady breath. Hold there, five breaths. Let me grab a little drink of water. Be right back.
That's a puppy pose. Couple more. Full yoga breaths. Draw in. Exhale. Move that space through the body. Any palms back down to the floor. Let's go ahead and walk your hands towards your knee. We'll spin the fingertips towards your knees. Heels and hands forward. Fingertips draw in. Let's go through some cat cows here. Inhale. Thread the heart up and through. Lift the gaze up. In the exhale, round the upper spine, chin to chest, draw in. Five more, really slow, go at your own pace. In the exhale, push. So try to find some new movement in your spine. As you exhale, lean back towards the fingertips. Another drawing back through center. Yes, release, interlace the fingers. Any motion that feels good. Again, one more time. It's figure eight. Wave them out. Roll open through the wrist. And if you have blocks handy, be perfect for the next drill. If not, just use your hands. See how you go. The blocks on the front of you. So you can go ahead and take your blocks about mat width apart. So this is one of my favorite strength drills of all time. It's called jump through drill. Blocks mat width apart. Comes to a place where the palms can root down. And you can actually grip all 10 fingers around the edges of your block. So about mat width apart for first. Starting, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. It's gonna come into it, head low through the feet. Keep the activity through your shoulders. So right knee draws towards your right armpit. Let that leg cross the mat. So top of the right foot on the floor. Left leg crosses behind it, squeeze the knees together. Start to move forward into your strength, so draw forward. Keep pushing through your palms, hold here for four. Wrap the triceps in, three. Let's go for two, and one, draw back. So as you draw back to downward facing, just notice where your weight was in your hands. Try to draw your weight to the inside edge, so the thumb and pointer finger press down. Second side, left knee in. Right leg crosses, squeeze in center. This time, shift forward. Exhale, lift the knees towards your chest. Let's go for five. Push and lift, four. Let's go three, two. Use the breath out, lift. And one, step back. Tower facing, last one. Take the blocks wide now, so wider than your shoulders. Right knee in, left knee in. So get that strength first, squeeze in towards your belly, and then slowly hop forward. All the way forward, and one day, you'll probably be able to swing through your arms. But not for me today. Let me know how you went with that one. Some of my favorite strength drills of all time. Let's bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor. And just lean back, legs lift up, Navasana boat pose. So legs come 90 first. And in stage two, lengthen your legs, point your toes, squeeze your knees in, your arms open up, smile, relax the upper body. But keep pressing your legs together, squeezing with your legs. So five, and four, and three, and two, and one, lower. Low boat, lower spine on the mat, arms keep lifted, arm to boss, and a hold here, breath of fire through the mouth. So five, and four, three, for two, and one, lift your chest up, cross your legs, knees to chest, roll forward, palms on the floor, step or float back, chaturanga, or just shift back to downward facing dog. Just reset there. This time we'll try a jump forward in, forward, forward. <laughs> Wow. A jump forward without blocks. So push into your palm, just trust yourself. Walk your feet in, soften the knees, look forward, exhale breath, spring forward, cross your legs, and try to light as soft as you can, or just float through your hands. Legs extend out, feet together, heels together. Take your peace fingers around your big toes. More boat pose variations. Lift the feet up. Been loving this one lately. Push the heels up towards the ceiling. Try to relax your upper body. And just use your leg strength. Push out through the heels. And let that action balance your body. So try to really just relax you relax your mind and your jaw a 
We're in stage two, open up the legs. So just allowing the hips, allow the shoulders to open. Keep the gaze fit. And send the inhales, broaden out through your inner hips. Draw in that new space. Bring them back through center, heels together. Last variation, bend the knees, heels to the floor. Bring your hands around the sides of your feet now. So grip the sides of your feet, lean back. Push, extend the heels up towards the ceiling, squeeze the knees in. This time we'll hold, smile for five and four. Let's go three and two. And let's go for one, open up if you want. Challenge yourself on the side of your feet, lift open, broaden out through the heart. And back forward, come forward, cross your legs, plant the palms, step or flow back. You get an optional chaturanga or upward facing dog. When you exhale, draw back, pedal up through your feet. Good, bend the knees, look forward. When you're ready, float top of the mat. All the way through center, legs extend up. Fingertips forward, squeeze your knees in. Point the toes forward, and lower. With control, activate your core, lower spine at first, and then the mid spine, all the way to the shoulders. Reach the arms up overhead, cross your thumbs. Let's go lion's breath three times, inhale through your nose. Exhale, stick your tongue out. Two more. One more time, clear it out. Good. Left leg long, right knee draws in towards your chest. Just interlace your fingers around your shin. Just rolling out. Just mobilize that right hip. Starting to cool down. Sequence now. So small circles. Turn into a bit larger circles. Don't let the right knee open towards your right armpit. So let that knee open up. Bend the right elbow. Just forward and back motion with that right knee. So just work on a gentle mobility. And nothing is about being aggressive or really assertive with your body when it comes to kind of creating new flexibility. I believe it's a lot more efficient just to relax into your edge, let your body kind of open naturally. And your right knee up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and extend that right leg up. Interlace your fingers around that back of the right thigh. We'll start to walk the hands up towards the calf. Maybe up towards your ankle to see what you can do. Take an inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, forehead up towards your knee. So lifting up, keep drawing that leg towards the forehead, full ujjayi breathing. Keep the core active. And when you're ready, rewind, hands back to your calf. Hey, back of your thigh, soften the right knee, spinal twist over towards the left, right arm extends out. Just let the body broaden, soften here. Let everything completely go up, go down towards the floor. We send everything down towards the earth. And supporting your right leg back up through center. And right leg long. Left knee draws in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers around your shins. There's small circles. You can mobilize that left side now. So no need to push into pain or any pinching feeling that you kind of feel. Just sense it out. And also feel a free to pause. Any sticky spots. Anything that needs a bit more time. Again, this is your practice, of course. Just hold things for longer if you'd like. Or come out of it if it doesn't feel good for your body. Your left knee opens up. Broaden out. Place your right hand on your hip. So stabilize that right hip and then forward and back motion with that left knee. So again, just really passive kind of yin style stretch. Especially with a vulnerable area like the inner thighs. And up through kind of psoas muscles. You want to just be able to... Softly open them first and get your body used to that action. And left knee draws over center and let's draw over 
Heel up towards the ceiling, interlace the fingers. So from here, again, walking the hands up towards the calf. Bring the forehead up, maybe taking hold of the foot or around the ankle. Inhale, long legs, lengthen up that arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. Forehead draws up towards your knee. So again, drawing in that fuller breath. Keep using that Ujjayi breath, drawing some core strength. And rewind hands back to your calf, back of your left thigh, soften your knee, and spinal twist now over towards the right. So big wide step over. Feel free to use some blocks here underneath your legs if you want, or I mean your left leg. Be in this one. You want to come to a place where you can fully relax and let go. Let your left arm extend out, left shoulder opens up. I'm allowing the body to just kind of expand in opposite directions. And ring out the spine, ring out any stress you feel in the back body or in your mind. And just let that completely go down to the floor. And it's like you're inhaling that new grounding energy, send it through the body. One of the main reasons we have stress in our minds is because we lack mobility in the body. So when your body's holding on and feeling tight, it definitely affects our mood. So just notice how you feel after this class. Draw the left knee back up, heels up towards the ceiling. Take your, hand, take your hands on the side of your feet. And it's coming to happy baby, so heels wide. So push your heels towards the ceiling. At the same time, draw the knees down towards the floor. So that's kind of a yoga cueing. Use the power of opposites to open up the hips. So just lean back and just kind of visualize that for a moment. Use that counteraction of forces to allow new openness through the hips, through the body. And help breath release your feet, heels together, knees come out wide. Arms open up to your T, so it's coming to recline, butterfly. And a really nice one to end class off with. And surrendering into the weight of gravity. And we're working to really just flush out the body, flush out any stress left. And flush out any tension you feel inside. And whenever you feel like it, lengthen your legs out, moving to Shavasana, final posture of the morning. I recommend staying here, guys, for at least five more minutes. So let the entire body relax and drop into the floor. We're back again, 11.15 Melbourne time. It'll be 6.15 back in Fernie. We have flow class for the second class of the day. Thank you guys so much. Let me know how you like class. Um, really appreciate any feedback. Namaste.